This is a quick video on how to figure out a door-to-door -door sales campaign for commercial cleaning and janitorial services. My name is Shane Dubell and our company is MethodCleanBiz.com. You can visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out all our free resources. We have uh, bidding calculators online for free, tons of uh, PDF downloads, and we are a digital marketing service for the cleaning industry. And today what we're gonna talk about is how to figure out the math for a door-to-door -door sales campaign. And I understand that door-to-door -door is kind of considered old school, but it's still one of the most effective ways to generate qualified leads. And there's a couple reasons. One is that you get to see the building and you also, you get to see the building so you can determine if this is even a building that you want. Once you open the door and go in there, you can kind of look around a little bit and maybe it's not even a good fit for you once you see how big it is or the condition, etc. cetera. Uh, the other part is you get the qualified leads. You, you go, you speak with a receptionist or uh, who, whoever is greeting clients and you can find out who is the decision maker because with cleaning one of the most frustrating things is the decision maker can be like 50 different people it can be all these different titles there's not one title that is in charge of cleaning especially as you progress through the different sizes of businesses from a five employee company up to a 50 uh, the title of the person in charge of us can completely change and a lot of times quite often they just throw it on somebody and and they're the ones in charge so we get to find out who the person is that that's the big thing and then we can create follow-up campaigns so the big thing to understand with any form of sales or marketing especially marketing is putting together the frequency and reach we want to visit the same companies a thousand times no let me reword this uh, it's better to reach a thousand businesses ten times than ten thousand businesses one time and a lot of people uh, kind of get that screwed up that they just want the absolute most volume but it's far more effective to be reaching the same businesses over and over and over again and that's what we're trying to figure out with this spreadsheet is we're trying to d d determine how many times we're going to visit these businesses in a year and create a campaign for a whole year. Um, so th the first step is, well, how many times do I want to visit a business in a year? And I came up with six and it it may be four for you. It may be 10 for you. That, that's a personal decision. There's a lot of reasons why. Uh, sometimes people are in rural areas and others are in dense. So it just makes it easier to do. There's all kinds of other reasons. Uh, so then the next question is, well, how many businesses can I contact per shift? Regardless if you're going to do uh, hour shifts or three hour shifts, it, it doesn't really matter. We, we want to figure out, well, how many businesses can I practically visit in a shift? And then the next step is, well, how many shifts am I going to do a week? Am I going to do one a week? Am I going to do it twice? Am I going to do it every day? Everybody will come up with their number. So then we figure out, well, in this sample, we're going to visit 30 businesses a week. And that leads to 1,560 total contacts in a year. But remember, we want to visit each one at least six times. So what that comes out to is 260. So if you wanted to run a campaign like this, you would need 260 business leads. And why this is important is now we can start to put a, a list together. And this is a service that we can provide for you. I'm sure there's other places that you can uh, get these from too. And you would need 260 to do this campaign. Now, you can do this by industry. You can do it by business size. You can do it by geography. 
And then once you have these leads, we have other videos uh, about how to put them on a Google map and create routes. So that way you can reach the absolute most people in every shift you do. See, that's the big thing with door-to-door -door sales is time and driving, especially with gas prices. So that, that's why we want to visit as many people as possible, and we want to reach them over and over and over again. So now that we decided that we have 260 businesses that we want to contact door-to-door -door in a year, the next step is, okay, when I qualify a lead, how do I want to follow up? And then that's the second stage of this is they be that's the second stage of the sales funnel is they're a qualified lead. We want to keep in touch with them. We don't necessarily have to keep going out door to door, although you can. At this stage, it's a lot cheaper to follow up through other ways. So it, for example, maybe you want to send two direct mail pieces a year, you're going to email them six times, you're going to hit them up in social media and maybe uh, connect with them on like LinkedIn, uh, follow up on the phone. So that that would end up, once you decide how often you're going to do this and you're going to create this, this funnel, it, it's going to end up being 16. I think for most people, it's probably going to be a lot less than that. You don't want to overdo it, but that's completely up to you. People have different opinions about this, and I, I wouldn't get pinned down on a specific number. Um, that That's just something we all have to decide for ourselves. So then that's the follow-up campaign, that, that we're going to reach people 16, in this example, we're going to reach people 16 times a year after they become a qualified lead. So my name is Shane Dubell. And our company is MethodCleanBiz.com. You can visit our website. And this was just a quick little video on how to do the math to get the most out of your door-to-door -door sales campaign.